Would you knock it off? Stop worrying. They'll be here any minute. My little girl's bringing a boy home for the holidays for the first time. I got a lot to worry about. Earl, Tiffany is 26. She can make her own decisions. And I'm sure that Marcus is perfectly fine. <laughs> Dad! Oh, my God! Look at this thing. How's my little girl? So great. <laughs> Hey, man, uh, thanks for driving her up. That should take care of it. Oh, uh, so where's this boyfriend you told us about? Um, Marcus? Dad, this is Marcus. Hey. Oh, you can actually keep that. <laughs> it is a pleasure to meet you. So you're Marcus, her, her boyfriend, Marcus? <laughs> yeah, I hope so. Stop it, yes. <laughs> um, <laughs> we have heard so much about you. My name is Melanie. Just call me Mel. <laughs> Come on in. Yeah, yeah, of course. Come in. <laughs> Thank you so much, Mel. And what should I call you, uh, Papa P? Mr. Pearson is fine for now. Okay. Good now. So, um, which room are we staying in? I want to get cleaned up before dinner. Oh, yeah, same. Well, you will be in the one next to our room, and Marcus will be in the basement. Or the couch. But, Dad, <laughs> we live together, and we've been together for over a year now. Don't you think that's a little much? I mean... Well, it's my house, my rules, young lady. Mr. Peterson, I got Patricia on the line for your 4 o'clock. Thank you. You're working over the holidays? Really, Dad? I'm a partner at the most prestigious law firm in the country. I mean, how do you think we afforded this second house? We'll catch up during dinner, I promise. I look forward to it. <sighs> how about some eggnog? Yeah, that sounds good. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's nice. Mel, you have to give me that recipe for the turkey. It's amazing. Oh, yes. Please. Uh, oh, um, Marcus, <clears throat> he loves to cook. He does a lot of the legwork in the kitchen now that I've started residency. Mm -hmm. You know what, I had to admit it, I'd probably be eating instant ramen every day in the hospital <laughs> if it weren't for him. <laughs> mm -hmm. Sounds like he got a lot of time on his hands. Uh, what do you do exactly? Oh, I'm a yoga instructor, part-time. You know, I do a few other things here and there. Okay. But uh, my schedule's pretty flexible, so I don't mind helping out Tiff around the house whenever she needs me. Mm. Yeah, having her support you. Sorry, what'd you say? I, I didn't catch it. I was over here. Uh, you know, I always wanted to try yoga. Yeah? Yeah. I'm more of a Pilates girl, though. Oh, Pilates is great. Yes. But you need to come by the studio. Yeah? Yeah, I'd love to show you some moves. Really? Yeah, maybe do a free class. I love that. Yes? Yes. Okay, <laughs> uh, you, you, of course, Mr. Pearson, as well, if you'd like. Oh, well, it's a little feminine for my taste. <laughs> hmm. Um... Uh, Dad, you know who's actually really into football like you? Marcus. He really oh. is. I mean, I'm telling you, anytime a game is on, I can't get one word in oh. until the commercial break. That I sounds get, familiar. He doesn't. Yes. He does that too. Yes, that's I can your dad. See it, right? <laughs> Both of you two. Okay. Yep. You're not a football fan. That's something I can get on board with. Yeah, well, I've been a huge Packers fan my entire life. You know, I've never missed a game. Packers? Yeah, baby. <laughs> because I'm a Bears fan. Got it. Uh, so, <sighs> what's the difference? Uh, the, the rivals, baby. Uh, we don't really get along. He brainwashing my baby. Oh, well, uh, hey, Dad, just because your favorite teams are rivals doesn't mean you have to be, right? Of course not. Yeah, of course not. Yeah, right, we, we don't have to. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no. So. Anybody want dessert? I just don't know what she sees in him. I mean, why would somebody who just graduated from medical school be with a yoga instructor? I mean, it seems like the boy is too much of tease away from being bankrupt. Well, Tiffany chose him. It's obviously a reason. Maybe you should just trust her judgment. You ever heard the phrase, love is blind? I trust her. It's him I don't. You don't even know him. Well, I know enough. I mean, the Packers? Really? Maybe if you got to know him more, you'd feel differently. You can't judge a book by its cover. Well, don't worry, because any man dating my daughter, I'm reading that book 
page by page. And then he rolled all the way down the hill. No way. No. He was no. a snowball. What? <laughs> Honey, uh, why aren't you dressed? We have to be at the slopes <laughs> in 15. You know, I, I think I'm coming down with something. You guys, you guys should go without me. Really? Wait, are you sure? I mean, we don't mind saying that. No, 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 no. I don't want to ruin anyone's fun. Go. Have a good time. Mm -hmm. Are you sure? Okay. I'll check on you later, okay? All right. All right. Ooh, let's do it. I'll beat you to the <laughs> We have T minus two hours until they get back. What exactly are we looking for? Any and everything. If he so much as bought a frozen yogurt on a Tuesday, I want to know about it. <clears throat> oh, that's like, that's like B.O. mixed with, like, chia seeds. At the very least, somebody needs to buy this boy a new cologne. Okay. Wait, here. That's his credit card bill. $75,000 in credit card debt? I knew it. I knew he was with Tiffany just for the money. If he thinks he's going to pull a fast one on me, he got another thing coming. Oh, oh my goodness. I left my gloves. <laughs> Feel better? I will. Make sure he rests and doesn't work. Now that I know my instincts were right, I want you to dig up everything you can on this guy. I'm gonna bury this relationship if it's the last thing I do, and him along with it. Hey, baby, I'm gonna run into town. I'll see you at the restaurant tonight at six, okay? What? I thought we were gonna leave together, though. Oh, yeah. Uh, I just gotta run into town and grab a few things. I'll meet you at the restaurant, though, okay? Okay, love you. Bye. Bye. Oh. <laughs> you guys are the cutest. Yeah, he's he's something special. And... You know, I, I just remembered there's something I need to do myself. Honey, what? No, I thought we were going to play Scrabble. Yeah. Yeah, but I got a game, a clue that I need to solve first. Bye. Okay, okay. child. Is that cool for something? After 30 years of marriage, I have learned not to ask. <laughs> What are you plotting? Lion, greasy scumbag. Hey, Mr. Pearson, sorry to bother you. I just want to let you know that I found something on Marcus that I think you might find interesting. I, I just emailed it to you. Okay. What am I looking at? Court records. Turns out. Tiffany's boyfriend actually got sued by his own family for allegedly stealing their inheritance. You're right, sir. This guy is trouble. Can't let my baby girl get caught up with some lying, cheating scam artist. Pull the name of the restaurant that Tiffany and Marcus are going to tonight for dinner. Tell my wife to meet me there. Hi, welcome. How can I help you? Yes, I'm looking for my daughter and her boyfriend. They may have reservations. Marcus Henderson and Tiffany Pearson. Honey, I thought you were just taking me out for dinner. What exactly are we doing here? You'll see. Ah, right, they reserved the private room in back. Thank you. What? Oh, wait, sir. Earl. Uh-huh. Uh, there you are. Dad, what are you doing here? Saving you from a lifetime of heartache. I can't let this relationship continue. Earl. Have you lost your whole mind? Marcus isn't who you think he is. Go on, tell him. M Marcus, what is he talking about? I have no idea. Oh, you want to play it like that? Okay, if you don't tell him, I'll tell him. I caught Marcus with another woman. Uh, what? Marcus, who's that? Yeah, he was outside of her apartment. He, he hugged her. Brought her flowers? Okay, well, look, I, I, I can explain, oh, okay? Oh, save it. I'm a divorce attorney. That's what they all say. Look, baby, I just... Okay, just, Everyone calm down. Okay, I, I, I can prove it, all right? Just... Hey, hey, did Tiffany love it? Yeah, no, 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 she loved everything. I just wanted to say thank you again for all the flowers, the candles, everything. Happy anniversary again, and let me know if you need anything else at all. Okay, will do. All right, bye. Bye. 
She's an event planner, baby. She's the one that helped me set everything up. Okay, he has an explanation for that. But he doesn't have an explanation for why he's up to his ears in debt. Trust me, honey, he's only with you for the money. I mean, he probably knew who your father was and has been planning this since the first day he met you. He can't be trusted. Even his own family sued him for stealing their inheritance. Marcus, is this true? Your family sued you? Yes. See, I told you. Okay, no, but I didn't try to steal anything, okay? I was just trying to protect what my father left for me. You see? Ever since I can remember, my dad was a workaholic. He was very successful at business, but it usually meant neglecting every other part of his life, including his health. As the years went by, my dad got sick, really sick. No one else came to see him, and I didn't want him to ever be alone. So, naturally, I sat by his bed in the hospital for weeks, until his very last breath. After he passed, his attorney went over his estate with me. Since I was his only child, he left everything to me. Even though his family wasn't close to him at all, and they didn't even come to see him once in the hospital. They all showed up with their hands out trying to get a piece of his inheritance. And when they realized they couldn't, they did the only thing they could do. They sued me. It didn't take the judge long to see that my dad's family was gonna take something that didn't belong to them. So, after a short trial, he ruled in my favor and gave me the entire inheritance. You see, my family did sue me, but it was only because they were trying to take what my father worked so hard to build. They didn't even care about him. Oh, honey, I had no idea all that happened. I don't really like to talk about it. Obviously, I don't really have the best relationship with my family, so that's why I was really excited to meet yours. I was I was hoping that this would be a new beginning for me. Are you happy now, Earl? You have been so hard on poor Marcus here. Ever since he got here, you owe him an apology. I'm very sorry for what happened to your father, Marcus, and everything you've been through. But if you won the lawsuit and got all the inheritance money, how are you still in $75,000 worth of credit card debt? Oh, how do you even know about that, Dad? Right. Huh? Did you go through his stuff? Don't tell Dad. me was, you oh, investigated oh. him. It's okay, Dad, it's guys, it's I'm okay. I'm telling you. Ladies, ladies, it's okay. It's okay, really, all right? First of all, I didn't keep any of the inheritance money anyways. I donated it all to charity. But that's because I didn't need any of it. Look, I, I may be a yoga instructor, but I also own 10 yoga studios in town. So I make Tiff's salary in a month. That's true. And then I use the credit cards to buy everything to earn points. And then I pay off the credit cards at the end of the month. And I guess if you must know specifically what I spent $75,000 on, I used them to buy this. You're going to propose to me tonight? Yes. I love you more than anything in the world. Really. <laughs> but, oh. Uh, I don't think I should move forward knowing how much your father hates me. I'm sorry. It's not fair to you. It's not. It's... <gasps> Marcus, can we... How could you do this to me, Dad? Really? Oh, baby. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, baby. I'm here, Mr. Pearson. Look, I'm leaving, all right? So, you don't ever have to worry about seeing me again. Listen, I'm sorry about what happened back there. I might have gone a little too far. 
but I just want what's best for my daughter. Okay, I understand that. But so do I. We love the same person. I see that now. I'm sorry I misjudged you. You seem like a great guy. And the last thing I want is for my daughter to be hurt. So, I'm giving you my blessing. If you want to go back over and finish your proposal. If I married Tiffany, that would make you my father-in-law. I don't want to go around the rest of my life walking on eggshells because I think you might be spying on me or that you don't even like me. I... You won't. You won't. I promise. I've learned my lesson. And I should have never judged a book by its cover. Okay. So you don't mind if I have a job like being a yoga instructor? As long as you don't try to get me to do yoga, I'm fine with it. How about me being a Packers fan? Now see, that's something I'm not sure I'll ever get over. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just being honest. Okay, fair enough. Can we please go back over? Yeah. Yeah, we can. Wait, are you thinking local wedding? Oh, no, destination for sure. Something like Bora Bora, maybe the Maldives. No, that sounds expensive. Oh, it will be. But good thing the bride's parents pay for the wedding, huh? <laughs>